Clarissa. Oops. Hey, Smeggies. So, Fred, are you ever going to tell us who Clarissa is? Uh, is there time for another episode of? You put that on the side, or change the two. Yeah. Really impressive. it was Clarissa. So what are you talking about today? Maps and the reason is this. If you watch my vlog channel you'll know that the other week Harley, his cousin Yanto and I went to Robin Hood's Bay and Whitbeck. The only problem was I used Google Maps to chart the way there and of course it chose the quickest route and silly old me followed it. I don't like to use sat nav so I memorised the route and followed it perfectly and that was the ruddy problem. Your memory is going? No, not in this matter anyway. It took me past Leeds and York. And because of that, we got stuck in the worst traffic ever. It was literally gridlocked. We'd move a few feet, stop for a minute, move another few feet, stop for another minute, and this just kept going on and on for miles and miles. Heh, <laughs> Andy was dying to pee. Yes, I was. Did you say to the dogs, we will never get there? Hardy ha. Don't worry, he lived to tell the tale. <sighs> Thanks for telling the world, Harley. You're welcome. Anyway, I decided on the way back I would take a different route. For that, I did what I should have done in the first place. Don't have a drink. Read a map. With this, I can avoid major cities and towns. And for this episode, I thought I'd show you guys how to read a map. Now, for you young people, this is what a map looks like. Oh, wait. Don't go to Newcastle. That's better. It's made from paper and has pictures with lines, numbers and icons. Basically, they're like emojis. See? This one is for castle. These icons are littered everywhere. And the best part is, a map doesn't require batteries. Somebody is being sarcastic. At least if he needs to go for a dump, he has something to wipe his butt with. First thing to remember is not to read the map whilst driving. You may just find yourself in a lake. And they're represented on the map in blue. It's best to have a look before you set off or have a companion to guide you. Of course, the crucial part is to decide where to go. If you already have an idea of where you want to go, you can have a look in the back at the index. It's like the Urban Dictionary, but it's a list of places and it's in alphabetical order. So say you're looking for Mansfield, you look under M and... Oh, wait a minute. There's two. Why would there be two? Anyway, it tells you which county, so you look at the page and grid number. Page 51, Q10. They look confused. Yeah, look. Go to page 51, like so. Then you have letters at the top, you go to Q, which is right there. And then you follow the numbers down to 10, which is there. And then you go across. And then you match up Q and 10. And there's Mansfield. It's like a chart. Or a board game. I'm showing my age here, aren't I? Imagine it's some sort of video game that uses grid for reference points. Anyway, once you've found your destination, you can map it from the place you live. And if you want to choose somewhere random, just open up a page anywhere, close your eyes and point. Oh, wait. Maybe not Rotherham. Let me try again. Liverpool? Um. anyway, these lines represent different roads. All you have to do is follow them. Blue for motorways, green for A roads, red for more. Huh? A roads? Huh? And yellow for B roads. And these ones are. I think my eyes are going. Now we do need it to pee. He's getting gold. So there you go. Now you know how to read a map and you don't need a sat nav or Google Maps. It's time for me to go. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, peace out. Hmm. I wonder if Clarissa is in here. Does it show you where the toilets are in there? Not so good for that too. <laughs> Are you warm? You want cooling down? There you go. Is that nice? I found another use for a map. Cool down my dog. <laughs> and me, I'm warm. By the way, I was joking about not being able to read a map. 
It's just that I think people spend too much time using or relying on sat navs and Google Maps. I'm guilty of the Google Map one. And I tell you what, I'll be relying on this next week when I plan on going away camping. That's right, as long as the weather's okay, I'm off to the Lake District. So I'm giving you a heads up now. There'll not be a video next week. Sorry. And I will be using this to get me there because I've had a look at Google Maps already and it's trying to get me to go through Manchester. No. I'm not saying Manchester's a bad place. I'm just thinking of the traffic.